Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys this haul that I have. I have um, a hauls from a few different days within a couple of months just together so that you guys can see it all in one video. So let's get into it. Um, the first thing I wanted to show you guys is my little Beatles 6 gel polish collection that I got. It is more of a summer collection and it is um, kind of almost like a jelly color collection. They're like not really, really jelly, like super clear, but they're more... Um, kind of like buildable buildable colors so you can kind of have them be a jelly color or more opaque if you add more layers this is a really different formula than the other beetles gels that they usually have so I think it's for sure more of a jelly collection and it's really really cute as you guys can see I'm just watching the colors here going through them um, I really loved that first neon pink that was definitely my type of vibe and then this really pretty orange it's kind of like a see-through orange um, I actually really love these and I feel like these would look so cute if you did some, um, like clear jelly tips, like French tips. That'd be so freaking cute. Let me know if you guys would want a tutorial on something like that. I can definitely do that for you. Um, but yeah, you guys, I really love them. I like this neon green one. I just love vibrant colors right now. They're so, so beautiful. And usually I, um, like when I'm doing my own nails, I usually stick to like my usual colors, like either a milky white or like a nude or a pink. And I always add glitter and stuff like that for sure. But I really want to start stepping out of my comfort zone, you guys. This entire year, I've only done my nails one time and we're already in July and then August, September, October, November, December. And the freaking year is going to end and I haven't even done my nails, you guys. But anyways, here I'm showing you guys two layers of the color so you guys can see how they build up. This is the second layer and it looks really, really nice. As you can see, you can just choose which one you like better and have it be more sheer or have it be more opaque. Um, but yeah, you guys, I haven't been doing too much haul videos just because I haven't been trying to buy too much stuff. If you guys saw my most recent um, nail room tour, it isn't like my dream nail room space, but it is... Um, really i am very grateful for what i have and i do have a lot of drawers already full to the brim you guys i barely have enough space for anything else so i really try not to buy too much stuff i tr technically um try to buy things that i feel like I, i'll really need to use or things that i know someone will ask me for or just new trend type of stuff or if I see a color that I need or a color that I need to restock on or any type of nail supplies that I need to restock on, I'll always make a video of me um, restocking my supplies and stuff like that just so you guys can see what I repurchase. But this is the whole little collection all together of the six colors. I absolutely love Beatles Formula, you guys. If you're a beginner and you're looking for good gels, I 1000% recommend this brand on Amazon. I'll link their store down below. Um, and I do have a code with them if, as well if you guys wanted to use it just so you can save some money I don't get anything from it, but it just helps you guys out. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that And then for the rest of the videos, I'm pretty much gonna be in real time I'm so excited about that you guys I always want to do real-time videos But I had mentioned before that I can't just because the air conditioner in my room air conditioner in my room is so freaking loud But yeah, this one this next part is gonna be in real time hi you guys so i'm gonna connect these hauls all together and i'm gonna be showing you guys what i got from nail supply glamour i'm super excited it's just a few things but i'm still really excited so i did go ahead and i picked up a few stuff so i went ahead and picked up some new brushes which is what i'm most excited about i picked up these two right here so this one is a number 10 and this one is a number 14. I'm really excited because I've been wanting to use bigger brushes. I have one big brush that's a number 16 and it is literally used to death. Like it's way, way, way used to the point where I literally can't use it anymore. So I did pick up this really beautiful one and it has glitter in it. It's so freaking cute. And I'm literally obsessed with this. It's so pretty. And it is a Kalinsky. And this one right here is a size 14. So this one's pretty big compared to a size number 8. This one is a number 8 by Nail Supply Glamour. And this is a size difference. So it is pretty big. This is from the side. And I absolutely love it. I know I'm going to get lots and lots of use out of this. And then I also got the number 10. I Like I said, I do have the number 8. Which is... Um, 
I do have the number eight, which is this one right here. So it's only like one size bigger, which is perfectly fine. It's not that big of a difference to be honest, but I did still want to size up. And like I said, I love these because they have the glitter and they're so freaking beautiful. Like, look at them. They're so cute. So yeah, I really love these. I love when they're brand new like this. Mine is all janked up because I use it so much. And I do have all of my acrylic brushes in this little lap, little um, holder thing that you guys saw in one of my hauls. It's actually like a rock thing or a salt lamp, I think it's called. And I have all of my acrylic brushes in here. I know this is a lot of acrylic brushes, but I absolutely love them. I always like having extras on hand and I mess them up really fast because I forgot to clean them. Like this one's just messed up, but I still keep it. I don't want to throw it away. And then I did also pick up I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I believe this is brush cleaner. But I also picked up some tips that I always need. These are the refills for the press on tips. Four, five, and six. Those are the numbers I always need the most. So I picked up more of those. And then I do believe that this is a brush cleaner. I want to keep using brush cleaner to make sure that my brushes stay nice and clean. I don't like when they get all messed up. And if this video ends up going up with this volume or with this uh, in real time, I'm sorry about the noise in the background. I do have my air conditioner on, so I am just trying to, I guess, just get that together. So this is the brush cleaner that I use. It's really, really good. I absolutely love this one. And on the website, it actually has like five out of five stars. And then this is what I'm most excited for. I did pick up a few colors as well. So this one is called Cheeks. This one's called Rosy. Oh, I actually think I have this one already. Wow, I would have picked this up again. I think I have this. But this is Cheeks. And then this one is Light Coral. And then this one is Baby Doll. I don't know, but I feel like I have this one too. So I'm not sure, but these are all really beautiful nudes. I'm going to insert pictures of what each one looks like here. So this one is rosy, and then I'll insert the picture. And then this one is cheeks, and I'll insert the picture. This one is light coral. And then this one is baby doll. So that is everything I got from Nail Supply Glamour. It wasn't a lot of stuff, but it was kind of pricey because of the brushes, because the brushes are kind of uh, more expensive, but they are cheaper than Amazon, which is why I like getting them from there. So I highly recommend it and I love them. They're so freaking beautiful, like I said. And they're really nice, amazing quality as well. Hey you guys, so this is the second part to the first part that you guys just watched of me opening my stuff from Nail Supply Glamour. I did get a whole bunch of um, new things, just like not a whole bunch actually, just some stuff from Michaels, the Dollar Tree, and just some other miscellane miscellaneous things. That I really want to show you guys so I just wanted to do a little haul for you um I think I'm gonna start with Michael's so I did go to Michael's the other day and I got a few things you guys know I love Michael so much especially when you can use coupons and stuff um most of the stuff I think was regular price so I was able to use a coupon for it which is really cool so you might see it here so I did get a whole bunch of glitters for fall time because right now I have so many summer colors um glitters if you guys have been watching my hauls consistently you guys might see like the glitters that I have gotten um recently so i really wanted to stock up on the fall ones because i remember last year during fall and christmas time i when i went for like the glitters they were like really sold out like there was barely any they didn't really have that much of a selection and just in that year from back then to like now um i know it's gonna be august soon and um they've upgraded their glitter selection so much Michaels has such pretty glitters now and they never used to have like that much of a selection which is crazy so I'm really glad that they've like upgraded that and stuff like that so I got this really beautiful really fine 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 glitter it says tinsel embossing powder which is kind of funny it doesn't say that it's a glitter but it looks so pretty it's really really thin like look at this you guys oh my gosh it's so gorgeous it says it's an embossing powder. Tell me if you guys know what that is. Um, I'm going to use it for like nails, for like pixie nails, like where you put the gel and then before curing it, you like dump the glitter on. I just felt like it was so nice and it looked really finely milled. So I felt like it would be perfect for nails or something. 
um hopefully i i'm able to use it for that if not i'll find another use for it but it's so freaking pretty i didn't even notice that it said um tinsel embossing powder embossing powder until now but but i do think this will work for nails because it says apply over slow setting over slow drying ink heat to set so i think if this is cured in gel polish it'll work perfectly so yeah you guys should definitely get these i didn't know if they had more colors i didn't really pay attention this was literally the last one at my michael so i literally grabbed it as soon as i saw it because this is perfect for christmas time um and i just wanted to have a red glitter i don't have any red glitter right now so another thing i wanted to get was like a black one so i got this really beautiful finely milled black glitter um i just felt like it's perfect it's really really fine um i don't know if you guys have noticed at michael's but they have a fine glitter collection and then or like selection and then they have the extra fine i always get the extra fine just because i feel like that one's best for nails especially if you're gonna leave it um like leave the grit on there i feel like the extra fine is the best one so i did get this one it just has a little bit of a sparkle to it it's so cute halloween vibes all the way i'm definitely gonna be using this on my nails and then i got this really beautiful kind of like literally this is giving me thanksgiving this is giving me pumpkin spice latte vibes all the way it is more of a burnt orange type of color and i love it so much you guys it's so freaking beautiful it's like a burnt orange copper but definitely more of a burnt orange not a copper i don't know how to explain it but it's gorgeous you guys might just be able to see it here i really love it so much and i love these glitters because they're really affordable and they're so big that I'll, it'll literally last me forever. Like, I'm not going to need to repurchase this anytime soon, which is why I love these so much. Another one that I got was a regular, more different type of, like, muted orange. So I do have the same exact extra fine glitter, but in a neon orange that I also got at Michael's. But as you guys can see, this, this is, like, the difference. It's literally, like, if they mix this one and the neon orange one together, um, and it created this, like, baby. So this is so cute. It's so pretty it's like really really gorgeous more of a pumpkin color i love it so much you guys oh my gosh i'm definitely going to use this one too i really want to create some fall sets and make some tutorials on some fall nails i love halloween i love fall if you guys have been here from the beginning you know i love halloween and doing like hand painted things and then i did pick up this really nice um extra fine glitter this is one of the ones that's more in the kid section i think these were in like the crafts this is more in like the kids crafts, if that makes sense. So this one is more of a, I don't know how to explain it, like a gold, but brown at the same time, not too gold, not yellow gold. So I wanted a glitter that wasn't yellow gold and I really needed one because I have so many small pots or I had a small pot of this kind of glitter and I already finished it. So I was like, let me just get a big one so that I don't um, like run out of it. Cause I know for fall, I'm gonna need this color a lot. And then I also got a brown glitter, you guys. I feel like this is going to be super popular this fall. I don't know why. I just feel it. I feel like this color is going to be really, really popular because so many people have been doing so many bright colors, swirls, flowers, butterflies for summer. So, yeah, I feel like these are definitely going to be a hit. All of these together. Like, look at these fall, vibe, fall vibes, you guys. So freaking pretty. I'm obsessed. So, I did get those. And then as you guys know, I love pink, so I had to get a girly one. This one's like a pink magenta kind of. I do also have a dark pink and a light pink of this same brand as well. It's also the extra fine one. And this one's so pretty, you guys. I've never seen one like this. Like, it's not a purple. It's literally like a magenta. Um, and it's so stunning. I was so obsessed with it. I wanted it as soon as I saw it. Because I've never seen this color at Michael's before. Or I definitely would have got it a long time ago. But yeah, I'm obsessed. It's so pretty. And then I did also pick up two different kinds of white glitters. I always need these for the sugar nails. Um, if you guys didn't already know, you can put this white glitter over any color and it'll set with that color. So it'll still look blue if you put it on top of a blue gel, if that makes sense. Like as long as you cure it while it's still wet and um, it'll literally turn into that color. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I usually do. If I don't have a glitter that matches the same color of the nail that I'm going to be applying the glitter onto, I use this white kind. So I did get the kind that's just normal and the one that has like pink and like blue holographic. I, get, I got that one and then the regular one. So I do love the regular one as well for a more simple look. And then I like this one because this is the one I've had before and I know I use it a lot. So I got both of those. And then I did also get a tiny little pink ribbon. I use these to wrap my press on boxes with. Um, I really loved this one because I think it was like 75 cents or something or like a dollar. So I got this one. 
if you try to get your ribbon from michael's it's honestly pretty expensive so i'm going to show you guys something right now that might help you out with that but they're usually like four bucks each ribbon pack like the ones that are a little bit thicker you guys that's insane at least on my michael's they're like four dollars so i don't know i think i'm going to start trying to order it from aliexpress or something so yeah i might do that and then I also got these jump rings. These are so, so cute. I've been wanting these so bad, you guys. I have so many of those little charms that you can hang. But I've never bought these, so I've never got to use them. And I feel like I need to use them because I, they're, like, so cute. I've been wanting to. If you guys watch my hauls like i said earlier you guys might have seen those in a haul before but i got these ones i got the 6 mm so hopefully this is the perfect size i'm so sorry if you guys hear screaming there's like kids playing outside so i think i'm gonna go check if the windows closed but yeah you guys so i got the 6 mm hopefully that's the perfect size i feel like it would be for a nail so um i have the little uh, pointy drill bit that i can use to like drill the hole in the nail so if i needed to use them i could so yeah hopefully these are good and hopefully they don't like tarnish really bad i'm not really sure which kind i was supposed to get but i'm just gonna try it on myself anyway so i got those and then i did also from michael's also from michael's i got this huge thing you guys it might look crazy right now but i was talking about the ribbon being so freaking expensive so i got this one it's a 50 piece trim bundle so it's just a bunch of like kind of like scraps almost of ribbon and i felt like this is literally perfect you guys i was like this is perfect for me because i my boxes are like my old boxes are like this and my new ones are like this one right here so they are pink but this is my logo this is my sticker i get my stickers on avery.com in case you were wondering but i feel like any color goes with this like honestly i don't really mind it i don't care if it matches because i'm all about creativity and having fun and i don't want anything to be too uniform if that makes sense i don't like when things are so like picture perfect honestly i prefer things to be fun and cute so i felt like this was perfect because depending on the set that the person orders i will literally match the color of their ribbon with that since this has so many different colors and i forgot to mention this the whole entire pack was only 9.99 when one of these is usually like four dollars so and this doesn't even come with like a lot so i really recommend this one they had a bunch of different ones to choose from like every bundle that they had next to the ribbon section had different colors so i got the one with the more funner colors or like colors that i felt like would go good with my boxes they also had one with darker colors and just a bunch of different ones you guys i can literally use these no matter what they are and i'll wrap a cute little bow around the side or something so like i can literally just wrap them and they'll look so cute so i did get these so i'm hoping i can use all of them like maybe one like this might be a little bit harder but i'm really creative so i'll probably find something to use this for regardless but i feel like it's so cute regardless i don't really care and i love the vibes i love how they're all different like look at this feather one if i could find this feather one i would totally just use this it's so cute and then it comes with like this kind and this really really cute little like flowery one. Oh my gosh that's so cute that'd be really really beautiful if someone ordered like a really nice nature type of vibe set literally wrapping it with this would be cute like literally there's so many options the options are endless you guys so i really recommend this one if you're down for like a fun creative box decoration instead of having just one color every time it's up to you but this is what i prefer so i did just pick this up and next time i'll choose a different one every time they'll be different so that'll be super cool and then after that i did go to dollar tree so i did so I did want to show you guys what I got from there. You guys know I love Dollar Tree so much. I didn't get that many things, but I just wanted to show you anyway. I found these really cute boxes. They did come with a sticker, but I took them off already. And it came off really seamless. It didn't leave like a residue or anything, which I love. Um, these boxes are perfect if you do nails, you guys. So they come with the side like that, and they come with the lid. I've told you guys before that I like um when my boxes come with a lid because i prefer my tools to be nice and clean inside of here where dust can get in get inside instead of them being out in the open in a container like this in my drawer it kind of like gives me anxiety i feel like dust or like something will get in there so i always just make sure that i have little lid ones like this but i could never find them like affordable ones at least so when i went to dollar tree the other day and saw these i literally died i'm gonna label one to be disinfected and disinfected tools 
So this one was going to be for disinfected tools and this one's for to be disinfected so that I can have them separated and have everything super nice and clean for um, anyone that wants their nails done. So I feel like this is perfect. I really love this method and I love those you guys. Run to your Dollar Tree and look for those because those are amazing. Even if you don't use them for tools, you can use them for literally anything. You can even put your lymph-free wipes in here. You can put... Um, literally anything in here you guys oh my gosh you can put your sanding bands in there if you have a lot you can fit nail files in here i'm pretty sure nail files fit perfectly in here let's test the theory oh my gosh you guys look at that they fit perfect in there so you should use and you can use them for nail files you can put your buffers in there get so many of them you guys because if you do nails you know for sure you can never have enough storage at least for me i can never have enough storage so i did get those and that leads me on to this right here. This is a really cute little container, you guys. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. I love when these little slots don't come out because I don't like when sometimes they can lift up and the stones can kind of mix together. That kind of bothers me. So I love this one. And I did get this in the hardware section of Dollar Tree. It's not going to be in the craft section or anything like that. I know that I've seen some in the craft section, but they're like blue from the bottom or like pink, I think, or something. I don't like those. I prefer when they're all the way clear just so I can really see what's going on. And I'm going to try to stick, take this sticker off. I was trying to do an ASMR vibe, you guys. So anyways, that girl was kind of a fail. But anyway, so I did really love this little box. It's really cute and really perfect for what I'm going to use it for. I think I can either put some charms in here or maybe I'll make this one like um, colored rhinestones or something like that. I should have probably got another one so I can have more. But this one's really cute and I really do love it. And then from Dollar Tree, I also got these little containers, you guys. These are actually beauty jars. And these are actually in the bath and shower section of the dollar store, you guys. These are so cute. I use them all the time. Um, I also put nail supplies in them because they're so perfect, you guys. They're three dollar, three for a dollar. And they're three for a dollar. And they, if you did want to use them for beauty jars, you totally could like put lotion in them if you're traveling or something. And it comes with a little spatula if you have long nails. So you can literally use this to take your product out and you don't have to dip your nail in there. You guys, if you're a long nail lover, these are bomb so i also got them for that reason and i got two of them just because i always like to have some on hand in case i want to mix my own glitters or anything like that or i need to mix a colored acrylic on site or something so i got that and then i also got this cute little sharpener you guys i've never seen it at dollar tree before but they do have the back to school section so they have a bunch of cute stuff coming out oh i actually forgot to mention that this was because of the back to school thing i think i think it's like a pencil box honestly i don't really know but it was like buy the school stuff in the very front where they like their new stuff is at so i also got this right in the front and it is an electric pencil sharpener you guys i feel like i didn't get batteries but it says it uses AAA, so i think i have some at home but I got this specifically for my wax pencils. I use these long wax pencils and I dole them out really, really quickly. And I use a pencil sharpener for them. I usually, I usually use this cute pencil sharpener that I got from AliExpress a long time ago. You guys, I got this over a year ago. I even used it for my lip liner, which you can see right there. That's so freaking funny. But I do use it for my wax pencils sometimes. And... I also use these little Crayola ones from the dollar store. So literally don't spend a lot of money on a sharpener, especially for wax pencils, because they're really sensitive and they might break easily. So something that's really gentle is the best, but I just wanted to try this out anyway. So hopefully it's good and it's cute because it's pink and I'll put like a sticker on it or something like that. And that's what I got from Dollar Tree. And then I did want to show you guys, I also got some of these from Dollar Tree. I got some new packaging um, little bags. So I wanted to make sure that they're really protected. So I did grab some of these. You can use them for gifts. And they have pink, purple, blue. I think like just regular brown, white, like different colors. So you can get whatever color matches your brand. And I did get a few packs of these because I always like to have these at all times. And then I also got some stuff from Amazon. I just got some of these McCart bag of nails. Um, I really love these. These are just the regular coffin tips. And then you guys, I found this really cool product. This is kind of random, but just in case you guys have kids, you might want to see this, but I'm not going to use it. I don't have kids, so I'm using it for myself, but it's really cute. It's a disappearing purple spray adhesive. 
and it dries clear so i think it's for kids it's safe non-toxic and stuff it's this brand but i got this because i really like to make vision boards or vision or mood boards actually not really vision boards more of a mood board so i really love making those i'm so sad because when i moved into the place i live in now my last mood board got destroyed so if you saw my first ever um nail room tour like the first one i ever posted you might have seen my mood board it was so freaking cute you guys i worked really hard on it but i'm planning on making a really really cute even better one so i feel like this would be perfect for that so it's just like a spray adhesive it would probably be easier but you can also use like a glue stick or whatever if you have like a nail room and you're really creative i highly recommend making a vision board you can put a bunch of cute things on it cute sayings and things like that maybe i'll make a mood board here on my channel and i'll show you guys how i do it so you guys can create your own that'd be really cool so you guys can put it in your room but yeah so that's what i got and then I just got one random thing from Raya's Nails. I got this little gel polish. It's a purple one. I actually only got this because someone specifically requested a purple cat eye. And I didn't have um, that color. So I just went ahead and picked it up. It's really per pretty though. It's so gorgeous, you guys. I just posted a picture of it. I just posted a picture of what it looks like on my Instagram. If you want to go to my Instagram and check it out, I'll put it right here on the screen. But it's really, really beautiful, you guys. It's so cute. And I love her products. If you're looking for some amazing gel polishes, I highly recommend her. And it is a small business, so you should support her. It's really cute. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys a little haul that I have. And someone had actually mentioned to me that they really like the AS ASMR aspect of like opening packages and stuff. So I am going to be doing that and just doing it in real time instead of doing a voiceover. So I did order just a few things from um, Tulip Nail Supply and I have lots of other packages on the way. So I'm going to film these as they come. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, you guys, so I did go ahead and pick up my favorite primer. If you guys already watched me, you know that I love this stuff. I did pick up a brand new bottle because I like to change them out every few months. Even though I just bought one, I just like to have one on hand. I also got these big letters. These are perfect, or big numbers. These are perfect for um, any type of numbers that you, you'll ever need. I just noticed that I didn't have them, so I really wanted them. And then I got these Playboy bunnies. I noticed that I don't have any of these as well. So I just wanted to get some of those just in case I ever need it. I don't like feeling like I'm going to run out of something or like that I'm going to need something that I don't have. And then this is what I'm so freaking excited about, you guys. Tulip Nail Supply has full cover tips. So you guys always ask me like where I get my tips and you guys always ask me so many questions. These are full cover extra, extra long square tips and they're so freaking nice. I'm obsessed. Look at them. They're freaking cute. I'm obsessed with them. I'm going to start buying them from here only from now on. Um, and I absolutely love it. So if you guys want to check these out, I highly recommend it. They're really nice quality. So far from what I'm seeing, they're really, really nice quality. These are actually way more flexible than the ones that I currently use, which are from Enel Couture. So I recommend these more because these are easier to cut down and shape if needed which I love. I'm literally gonna go buy another pack very soon, just in case. Please keep in mind, these do have a little bit of a C curve, just a tiny bit, like barely even at all, but there is a tiny gap. So if you wanna make sure that they stick really well, use a sticky tab and then glue if you're gonna be using these as press-ons. And I love them so much. I'm so glad I picked these up. I'm obsessed with these. And then the next thing I got are some really nice nail tips that I'm so freaking excited about as well. These are some new nail tips that just hit the market. You don't really see them that often. And I love, love, love long nail tips. So I always make sure 
that I have so many on hand. These are coffin tips, but without a C curve, if that makes sense. So normally, um, I do have some that do have a C curve, but they're a little too C curved for me. And these are just really nice, and they don't give you that kind of too too sculpted effect. So this is what they look like. Are these them? Let me see. I hope I didn't get sent the wrong ones. No, so these are nice. This is what they look like. They're just the tips, but without being um, C-curved. So they're super, super nice. Really, really sturdy. They feel really strong, which is really good. I don't like when my tips are too flimsy because it's kind of annoying to work with. So yeah, I love them so much. This is what they. this one looks like. They're really long and they're perfect for tapered square. If you need to cut the tip down, it's a little too small for that finger. If it's right here, um, if you want to do like more of a tapered look, you can cut it down a little bit. But even for coffin, you can shape these into a more tapered coffin if you wanted. And they're perfect for this. I'm so excited. I'm going to be putting these away because I do have a box that will be perfect for these. So I do have this um, tip box from Enel Couture. If you guys don't know, these are the only tip boxes that I have found that fit long tips like this. So they should fit perfect in here. I'm going to be putting them in and then I'm going to be numbering them. I absolutely love these tip boxes um, just because they're perfect for really, really long nails. And I know that it's kind of hard for us to find long nail tip boxes sometimes. So I do really like this one, to be honest. And then size one. And I don't remember how much these were on the Tulip website, but I do know for sure that these nail tips are cheaper on here than they are on Zule's nails. I saw that Zule's nail shop just released the same ones and I did notice that um, she's selling them for a little bit more pricey than uh, Tulip is. So their prices are always amazing. You guys should really check them out. And as you guys can tell, the tips fit perfectly in here. Like, they even have room to spare. Even if the tips were a little bit longer, they would still fit perfect. And I can't believe that there's tips like this that exist now. It's insane because when I started doing nails, there was not any tips like this. Like, there was only small, ugly, or like short, uglier kind of tips. I used to always use the BT Art Box ones because those were the only ones that I had that actually were like kind of good. They were like the longest ones you could get at that time. Other than like those really, 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 really long ones. Those ones that are like this long. But these are amazing. I'm so excited for these. And I think I'm going to start using these on every set that I do. And I am going to be doing a set tomorrow. So if I um, am able to record it, I'm definitely going to record it for you guys. So you guys can see and I'll post it on my channel. And I believe that these tips come with double sizes. So that's a four. And then we're going to go ahead and do five. And then I think this is not, oh, that's nine. This is six.
so it does come with an extra number four and number five since these are your most used sizes and i absolutely appreciate that so much because if you guys use tips you know that number four number five and like number six are the most common sizes that you'll ever need and i always have to repurchase a whole new pack because there's never replacements but these have a replacement so that's literally amazing so i'm gonna go ahead right here and just put the number so that when i'm doing the set i know what it is So there it is, you guys. And I'm right here. I'm just gonna put um, XXL. I'm gonna put uh, coffin. Okay, you guys. So that's it for this video. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. Just this little mini haul. Um, somehow this video still turned out so freaking long. I appreciate you guys so much if you guys stuck till the end. I know so many of you guys support me and I absolutely love and appreciate you guys so much more than you'll ever know. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.